Thanks to the promising results offered by using SEO2 technology, turbo machinery companies are being called upon to accurately model systems using precise performance characteristics of the different components involved. Traditionally, maps have been used to quantify the performance of a given machine, a turbine for instance. However, regardless of the density of points calculated to obtain this map, there will always be some interpolation done when determining how the component will behave. For instance, the software may have to guess between different known speed lines and pressure ratios to determine what a turbine's efficiency may be. Even small discrepancies can be crucial to determine the correct power balance for a given plant, which is critical in predicting plant economics, including levelized cost of energy. Another significant factor that leads to inaccurate cycle prediction is component deterioration from the ISO conditions. Most likely, the conditions at which you will operate your system are different from the conditions used by the manufacturer to create their map. Secondly, as the component deteriorates through hours of service, so does its performance. Having digital thread capabilities ensures accurate cycle predictions by calculating the real condition performances of the components. Let's take a look. So why do we need off-design simulation? A power plant will not always operate at its optimal design conditions. Factors like changing ambient conditions, thermal inputs, power production requirements, and other considerations will affect the power plant's operating conditions. Therefore, it is necessary to consider off-design performance and the frequency with which it will occur to perform multi-point optimizations. These analyses and simulations will help us understand the effect and importance of the components, such as the turbine and the compressor, on the cycle efficiency. Here, we want to simulate off-design conditions for a given system at different part load points. For each point, we are not only analyzing the performance of the cycle, but we are accounting for the involved turbo machine's performance, iterating automatically until there is a match between component efficiencies in the cycle and the detailed turbo machine simulations. For each part load point, we create a loop to find the efficiency match. In this loop, data from ACK cycle is transferred to ACK stream and back. ACK cycle runs the calculation for the whole cycle, first by using an estimated efficiency for each turbo machine, which then provides the boundary conditions of the components in ACK stream. In ACK stream, the compressor's and turbine's performance at this exact design point are calculated, therefore providing an actual efficiency value which may be different from the one used in the cycle calculation. In just a few minutes, more automated iterations are performed, which reach an equilibrium that provides accurate results in contrast to extrapolated data from performance maps. To connect these two tools and automate the entire process, Axtreme Ion was used. Here we have a 15.5 megawatt bottoming power generation unit with a GE LM6000 PH DLE gas turbine as the heat source to illustrate the concept. The PGU is a composite supercritical CO2 cycle with a high heat recovery rate to increase gas turbine unit efficiency and decrease the environmental footprint. In this screenshot from Axe Cycle, we can see the exhaust gas from the gas turbine unit at the very top enters the cycle and flows through two heat exchangers to heat up the CO2. Two compressors and two turbines on a single shaft are present in this cycle and these are the main objects of our analysis. Also present are a chiller, one high temperature recuperator, and one low temperature recuperator. For this cycle, a preliminary design of the turbines and compressors was generated in Axtream to serve as concrete examples. For each desired part load mode, we need to provide some initial values to obtain the desired output power. These initial values include compressor one exit pressure, turbine one mass flow rate, and turbine 2 mass flow rate. Thanks to our cycle calculations, we have the boundary conditions for the components. From there, we use Axtream to analyze each turbine and compressor to determine their power and respective efficiency so that the generator desired output is achieved. Here is what our four turbo machines look like. On the right, we have the preliminary geometry created in Axtream of the two compressors and the two turbines. The off-design analyses at the component level are based on these designs. The Axtream 1D and 2D solver can take any set of boundary conditions and run detailed analysis of the geometry of interest. These boundary conditions can be input manually or can be automatically populated like they are here. 
In the same manner, after the calculation, the corresponding results are shown in the bottom right pane and are automatically sent back to ActCycle through the defined ActStream Ion workflow. Here is some information about how the automation is handled, including the data transfer between the tools. Two ActStream Ion schemes are shown here. On the left is the main scheme, and on the right is the sub-scheme, which works inside of the main workflow. The main scheme is only used to control the number of part load points, range for the initial values, and plotting the results of the system performance. The sub-scheme, on the other hand, is used to calculate each off-design point. The first part of the workflow, at the top, is used to search for suitable input values to reach desired output power. If the power calculated from the previous iterations doesn't meet the requirement, then a new Compressor 1 exit pressure is assigned. The second part, at the bottom, is used to look for the performance balance between cycle and turbo machine components. With given initial input values, XCycle will perform the cycle calculations and then transfer the resulting boundary conditions to the turbo machines in Axstream. Looking back at the main scheme from the previous slide, we can now look at the results of the calculation. The map block is the blue diamond element in the Axstream Ion workflow which allows users to generate several automatic calculations with specified inputs and desired outputs. For our case, four desired part load points corresponding to four required output powers are provided as input along with appropriate ranges for the control parameters previously mentioned. Once the calculation is done, the map block can generate plots based on user-defined interests. Here, the four turbo machines total-to-total -total efficiencies versus part load modes are plotted as an example. By using this system, we were able to accurately predict the performance of a bottoming SCO2 cycle at desired part load conditions without needing to rely on performance map extrapolation and the errors which stem from it. Thanks very much for watching.